Hi guys, Nicholas here at Online Calisthenics and today we're going to talk about how to get started with pull-ups. It's very common for beginners to underwork their back. Uh, a lot of people are focusing on pushing, they're doing leg workouts, they're doing some cardio, they're doing a lot of things uh, which are great. But one thing that's usually missing is the pulling. Getting a strong back is really going to completely change your physique and your health. It's such a big uh, muscle group and essential to our functionality every day that we need to practice uh, pulling and make those muscle groups and chains way stronger and coherent so that it really keeps your body in check all day, especially if you're uh, working a lot, if you're sitting a lot. Uh, all of these uh, bad habits, if you will, uh, are going to be a more important reason even to work on, on your pull-ups. So um, I often see uh, women uh, that start calisthenics that are not really sure how to get started with pulling. They see others do pull-ups and they can't do it. So I wanted to address uh, methods uh, here in this video that will show you what to do progressively in order to build up to the pull-up. That works for women, but that also works for men. It's a, it's an all-rounded method that works for just everybody. So let's dive into it with band workouts. So all you need to do is just grab a light resistant band and we're going to start with the um, uh, pull apart of the band. So basically you're going to grab both ends of the, of the band and you're going to just pull it out. And then, we, and then come back to the original position. So it's gonna really use your scapula, the shoulder blades in your back. You wanna squeeze them together and come back. Squeeze and come back. And you wanna apply different angles. Uh, so we're gonna do it flat and then diagonal. And we're gonna demonstrate that in the video. Let's see how it works. So this is the neutral position. And then we're gonna go into an angle and the other angle. So for these, you can start at 10 reps per position and then do a decrease, uh, decreasing pyramid or a decreasing ladder, rather. Uh, so you start with 10 reps and then you do 9 and then 8 and so forth all the way down to 1. The next day, if you do it again, try the diagonal version of this and uh, repeat day after day and you're going to see and feel the uh, middle of your back getting stronger and stronger by doing that exercise. You can use that as a warm up to uh, prepare for the other exercise we're gonna cover in the video. But that's a great little start. It's, uh, it's quite easy to operate and really it will be very effective. Um, in general, I highly recommend you guys use pyramids for all the movements that we're gonna see uh, or uh, study here. So a pyramid is when you go from one to X amount of reps and then come back down to the first rep. So if you're a beginner, you want to start maybe at five. If you're more advanced, eight to 10, or even more than that, if you're even more uh, advanced than that. So you go from one rep, then you do two, then three, all the way to five, and then come back down to one if you're a beginner. Use that pattern for all the movements we're going to see here. That will be very efficient. I guarantee that. So bend pull apart, great little uh, warm up or exercise if you're getting started to get a stronger back. Let's move on to the next one. This one is the front row. It's really, you might have seen the machine at the, at the gym or somewhere else. Uh, somebody else do it with the band. That's what we're doing here. We're just pulling uh, from the front and we're retracting back. So that's going to induce more lat uh, activation than the previous one. And that's really going to work on the strength aspect of things use a light resistant band and then work your way up from here. If it's not enough resistance, then add a little more uh, thick band to the, to, the, to the exercise and that will just add resistance. So the important thing here is to bring your elbows all the way back. So don't stop where you back stop, but really bring your hands to your chest and really finish the movement back. So you can see, uh, the movement here is finished nicely with the elbows behind and that's a huge key factor to activate the full range of motion of your back. So go forward by protracting, you want to pull or push your shoulders forward 
and then retract them as you pull and finish with your elbow back. Very important and great exercise. Same thing, you can go from anywhere 1 to 5, 1 to 10, or somewhere in the middle, and then come back down. Great exercise. Notice an important detail here. You can also twist your hand as you're pulling. That's going to activate even more muscle chains as you go, and that's going to be a great addition to make the pulling uh, even stronger in general. So you start with your hand here, and as you pull, it rotates towards the back um, of your back, basically. So really twist, rotate, and bring the elbows back. You can also add a few pauses at the end of your reps. So at the end of each set, you can try to hold it up and squeeze your back, squeeze your lats, squeeze your core even uh, in order to maintain tension and then release and then repeat that cycle. The third exercise we're going to talk about is very, very simple. It's a doorway pull up. It's not hard. It really, same thing. It's meant to trigger the muscle chain that's really necessary to get good at pull ups. So I highly recommend it. You can play with the height. So sit down low if you're uh, comfortable with this. If you're not, then sit a little bit higher. Adjust your height. And same thing. You want to work that shoulder shrug here, this, you know, forward and back. And that's really going to connect all the muscles that are necessary to uh, be good at pulling. So let me show you here. You want to maintain good tension, core tight, pelvis tilted, keep your head up and then pull, and then make sure to use your lats to do that movement. Very simple, very effective. Just add more reps as if it's too simple. You can fill it up, and then you'll build up to the pull up. Next exercise we're gonna do is the Scorpio retraction, Superman to Scorpio, that requires zero equipment, you can do it from the floor. The goal here is to pinch your shoulder blades together as you lift your legs up. Um, you want to follow a pattern between your hands going up and your feet going up. Right now I'm flat, I'm doing Superman, and then we're going to rep and then do the Scorpio. So it's really going flat to extend it, uh, to, sorry, to um, retract it, and then flat again. So. Let me show you. Here I'm flat, shoulders are off the ground, the feet are off the ground, looking forward. And then we're going to retract everything, lifting the feet up and then retracting your shoulder blades. So I'm pinching everything in my back. Same thing, I really want to go uh, all the way and practice this full range of motion. So lift your chest up and retract your scapula together. You want them to touch each other as much as possible and keep that tension there. Same thing, really gonna uh, really build up your uh, mid-back uh, strength and very beneficial for pull-ups later. I'm gonna pull your feet up, try to get as good as form as possible, and then um, repeat day after day, you're gonna build up the strength. I'm putting here a few little uh, rep skin here, for you to try, uh, build up the way you want, but do it, I highly recommend it. Now let's go to the actual pulling exercise. So this one is the front row, just the Australian row, it's another name for it. It's a variation of that bent row that we just talked about previously. It's with the static bar. The whole point is to you repeat the exact same motion you would do with the bend, but you're lifting your own body instead. And that's really gonna help building up the nervous system uh, towards the uh, full pull up later. So it's a great little intermediate movement here um, to practice in order to get stronger. So again, same rep scheme. Um, make sure you apply good technique to it. So that forward shrug is always going to be the most important thing you do in a pull up. Except instead of trying forward, we're going to strap up vertically, but that's the same um, idea really behind it. So Build up the strength with that movement and then uh, go for the pull up. I'll show you in a minute how to do that. You want to keep that nice core tight, pelvis tilted. Use that shrug, that shoulder shrug forward to get up and then pull as far as you as fast as you can and slow on the way down to make sure that you work on that negative movement. 
here is an alternative if you don't have a, a single parallel bar or um, a proper apparatus you can use any single rail that you find so this is in a park this is just a normal rail you can use it to do a pull up uh, sideways you know like military style it's great for uh, anybody that doesn't have access to equipment you can do it anywhere really so use any rail that you'll find in the park and use alternative uh, military style pull-ups or actually Australian rows in that case and that's great for women that don't have access to a pull-up bar uh, and that are intimidated by trying directly with a high bar so try with a lower bar like this um, it's a really great alternative and it works well so you want to pull uh, on each side so do reps uh, on each side and then repeat and build up the strength to do a full pull up what we talked about in those um, shrugs before is still valid here pull with your shoulders and then pull with your arms don't start right away with your arms that's a lot of time why people fail at pull ups they really engage their bicep they're already already bent and they try to pull whatever they can from their biceps which is a very small muscle group compared to your back so get the full range and full extension in your back. That's really, really going to help. Here, military style, you want to alternate your grips. So if you're doing one set with one hand in front of the other, then do the second hand uh, with the other hand in front. That's really going to balance it out and give you a good workout. So any rail will do, try it. If you have access to a higher bar, in order to get into the more classic pull-up motion, I highly recommend the jump version of the pull-up. Um, so this is kind of an assisted version of it. Uh, I'm doing a jump version, so I'm going to use my legs to propel myself as I'm pulling, and that's a great alternative. If you don't have that and only a high bar, you can also use a box or a chair to get to the bar. So you can just sit yourself up here, and then you would do the negative down. So you let yourself down, but you want to do the shrug again, the inverted shrug. So when you're going down, you want to control the descent and you want to make sure that you're not uh, injuring your shoulder by going too far or too, too fast uh, down as you do the movement. So practice this. I'm going to show you how it works and make sure to coordinate your shrug with your descent. So let's see how this works. I'm shrugging as I'm jumping and shrugging down as I'm going down. So make sure to really use this portion here under your arms. Very, very important. The lats are crucial. Again, use a box or a chair. Same thing to set yourself off uh, on the bar. If you don't have access to a bar that's low enough, both work. They're great alternatives. And bring your chin over the bar as much as you can. So if you started with the negative, you start with the chin up and then all the way down. Don't just settle for a low pull up. The shrugs, basic hanging shrugs, very important. So basically you're going from a, a, a under a bar, you're just hanging here, and then we're gonna shrug. So really just that motion here, right there. That's it. And you keep doing this up and down, up and down, and you do reps of this. So it's going to really, really build the strength and really build up um, your level so that you actually can do pull-ups later. Um, we're going to combine this with dead hangs, which are coming right after this. So highly recommend series uh, sets of shrugs, then sets of dead hangs. You can combine those. Great, great uh, little superset. So make sure to really you know, decompress your scapula here all the way down and then pull it up. Boom, you shrug it up. If you feel it all the way to your neck, it's gonna feel great. And after that, you'll get a pull up after you repeat those. Squeeze those rhomboid and you're gonna get better. Now, here is how to do with the bend. Really, uh, once you've been more comfortable with the pulling overall, you can just put a resistant band in the bar just like I did, and you're just gonna do a pull up. So you're gonna shrug it and pull after that with your feet in the band. Use a higher resistant band when you're starting uh, to practice this exercise, and then lower the amount of resistance as you keep progressing. Same thing 
is the pyramid training really good alternative and do the shrug and all the way down shrug all the way down shrug etc and now here is the actual pull up that's really how it works shrug it down depress your scapula and then pull Remember to exhale on the way up, very important detail here. Every time I'm trying to pull, I'm really exhaling and finishing my exhale at the top. I'm going to inhale as I come back down and repeat that pattern to allow me uh, to keep going. A lot of people gas out quite often and it's often related to uh, poor breathing technique. So try to exhale every time you pull up. So really this video covered a lot of different progressions that you can use in order to build up to the pull up. Uh, be aware that it's a hard movement. So it's normal if you're struggling and doing pull ups, it's completely normal. The whole point here is to keep going, get better at it and then healthier as well because your back can't stress it enough is a huge portion of your health. If you have a healthy back, you'll most likely be healthy and maintain that for a long time. So go ahead and practice uh, as much as you can um, and build up to the actual pull up. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. You can drop them in the comment. Really happy to answer. And I will be back next week with a new video.